cross this part off. And we're going straight into example three. <clears throat> A worker in a framing store is making a rectangular frame. He knows that the perimeter of the frame is 144 inches and the length is 40 inches. How can he determine the width of the frame? What's our formula for perimeter? <coughs> to length plus to width. Now, we could move this equation around to get the W by itself. We'd have to subtract something, we'd have to divide by two, or we could just plug the numbers into the formula. What numbers do we have? What's this 144? What other number do we have? And what does that stand for, the L or the W? So 2 times 40 plus 2 times W. If we solve this, what's the only variable left right now? Width. Width. And so if we can just solve this, we're going to find out what the width is. What's my next action? 2 times 40. I'm going to move it up here because I think I'm going to run out of room. 144 is equal to 80 plus 2W. Next step, mm -hmm. subtract 80. Which I did this without a cal with a calculator last night, so I'll give you guys the benefit. It's 64 is equal to 2W. What's our next action? Divide by 2. I'm still seeing a couple people with dry erase markers. I need them put away. 32 is equal to the width. Is 32 my answer or do we need to label it? Okay, so let's come find a space here. It's 32 inches wide. I want you guys to do the try it. Oh, I didn't ask for them to be put away. I asked for them to be in the centers of your table. <laughs> okay. Try to try it at the top of the next page, please. Who's used this formula in class before to find area of triangles? Do you think it's ever used in real life? Yeah, construction, tile work, lots of different ways it's used. What's it asking us to solve for? Okay, there's a fraction there. If there's a fraction there, I always want to deal with it first. How do I move the fraction to the other side of the equation? Multiply by the reciprocal. That's going to give me 2a is equal to bh. What am I going to do with that b? I'm going to divide. I'm going to rewrite this over here. 2a over the base is equal to the height. So two times the area divided by the base would give us the height. This is saying, what if we have a triangle where the area is 18 and the base is 9? 2 times 18 divided by 9 is equal to the height.
2 times 18 is 36 divided by 9 is 4. So 4 inches high. The other way I could do this, I could divide the 9 out of both. 18 divided by 9 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. That's called factoring.